Welcome back guys, this is Legit Lee back again with another video for you. Today I'm showing you guys how I'm setting up my 8266 uh, board here to control an 8 channel relay and obviously using Alexa. So, um, right now it's actually activated and I want to show you guys that see each light back there is showing one relay which is 8. So if I say, because they're all on right now because those are the lights that are on, obviously. And um, if I say, Alexa, turn off relay one. Okay. And she'll do it. And um, you'll see that light come off. So I could do it for all of them. And it doesn't have to be in the same exact row so if I say instead of you know I go from one to two instead if I want to do three or four or something like that you could just tell her which relays you want to have on and for what specific relays basically so uh, Alexa turn off relay six and then you see relay six over there shut off and uh, Alexa turn off relay seven and you see seven turned off and we could do them for, for all of them. Turn off relay. Alexa, turn off relay two. And Alexa, turn off relay three. Okay. Alexa, turn off relay four. Okay. Alexa, turn off relay five. Okay. Alexa, turn off relay eight. Okay. And you hear every single relay now is off. So, we're going to go ahead and get into our sketch here, so you guys can see exactly how I have that going on. And it's super simple. Um, I already did the whole entire code, so you guys won't have to actually worry and mess with it. So, um, what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you how I tweak the code that I originally got from somebody else for a 4-channel relay to make it into an eight channel relay. It's really simple. There's no crazy coding all involved. It's really just most, mostly copy and paste. So you don't really have to worry too much about it. And here we go. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the code here. So the code right here is set for four channels. You'll see it when once, uh, if you ever downloaded it from the person that I've got it from. I don't I forget who I got it from originally because there was like three people I was looking into but um, it won't matter because I'll leave a link in the description of my code and uh, so basically you'll see channel uh, you'll see relay one on and off here and it'll go down to relay two on and off three on and off four on and off five on and off. I mean, so after four, which what I did was just copied the four, the whole on and off four, copied and pasted it underneath the line and kept going until I had four additional relays added. Then changed the name from relay four to relay five here. And then, you know, just went down the list here. You'll just see me like tap, go down, use my cursor, backspacing, and that's how I got all four, all extra four attached to the board here. So, or oh, actually programmed for the board. So then, you know, you add your SSID, which is your, uh, the name of your router. You know, whenever you look on your computer to locate your router that you want to actually sign into. And then you type in your password like you normally do. And then um, right here, you know, like I mentioned earlier for the, the above code for the void code, um, void part of the code, you'll see, you know, switch. So there was only four switches, which is four relays. So I had to add another four. It's really simple, you know, that's what I was trying to mention earlier. So, I mean, pretty much all it is is copy and pasting for the most part. And I uh, just want to do that because that was weird. Anyway, um... So right here, you'll see the serial, you, I put mine on, um, if you've seen my other video of how to control a camera remotely with, um, you know, the Amazon Echo Dot, I don't want to say her name because she'll 
detect herself and stuff. But um, you'll see, you'll remember seeing that I said you want to have your serial begin for the 115 200. That's the bud rate, and then you'll go down to where you see your relay one equal new switch relay one and the port number 80 oh the nope the name number 80 here let me just move over 80 and then relay on relay off or relay one off so relay one on relay one off so you know you just follow the numbers so if this is 80 it goes down to 81 for relay 2, 82 for relay 3, 83 for relay 4, 84 for relay 5. So, you know, I added, I had to copy relay 4, this whole code here. You know, I just, just did like how you normally would, just copy the whole entire sketch. I mean, the whole entire code here, copy, paste it, and then just, you know, you hit enter, paste the code into your, into the bottom there. And, um... Then yeah, I just changed the numbers to five for here instead of four it was five, and then over here it was five, and then this will be 84, not 83, and then you change this one to five, you know, because you're calling out relay five, and then you know relay five over here, and the same thing for the next three, you know, six, seven, and eight, and then you'll just do 84, so it'll be 85, 86, and 87 for relay from six to six to eight and um so you'll see after that your upnp broadcast responder is gonna is the ad device it'll say you know up to four relays originally and i just added you know copy and paste and change the relay number to five so five six seven and eight and then um then you'll go down you'll see server loop you want to make sure that it's you know looped correctly because it's gonna you know communicate and then go back and they communicate to each other so it's a complete loop and um, you'll see relay five six I mean you'll see up to four relays and just like I mentioned earlier you just copy the server leap I just copied server uh, relay four server loop code and then paste it you know four additional times and then change the number from four to five six seven and eight also so then we're gonna go down to, um, and if you're wanting to know, cause I don't, I'm not sure if I mentioned it a second ago or not, let's just go back up real fast. Um, when you change the code here, you're gonna do uh, pin mode also. I just wanna make sure that you know, cause uh, relay one is gonna be pin one, relay two will be pin two, that'll be digital pin. That's D pin, D one, D two is digital pin. Those are outputs. It's going to be outputting a signal to the board to let it know that um, you need to turn this relay on. So, um, you know, it's going to be a digital write. It'll be high because normally it's going to be um, a high output because it's giving a signal, a voltage to that pin that's connected to that relay. So, um, basically, you know, pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 is what you're going to want to uh, make sure that those pins are on and uh, if you want to go back and look at your pin out on your um, 8266 board uh, be my guest I did on my previous video I did explain more in detail about that but I'm not going to get into that in this video here and um, so then you'll go down after the server loop you'll see right here you know uh, relay this is the sketch right here this is a uh, Void relay on, relay one on, I mean, and basically it's saying switch relay one turn on, and it's a digital low signal which will tell the relay, okay, turn on. And then once you want to turn it off, it'll, you'll say switch, uh, you know, turn relay one off, and it'll be a high digital signal to our um, digital um, pin one, basically. It'll be a digital write. So the same for relay two, three, and four. So then after four, there was no more. So I had to copy, you know, I just copied four here, starting from the void right there at the corner, highlighted the whole entire thing here like this. And then once, um, once I highlighted it, I copied it, 
you know, pressed enter, gave it this space in between the first void and the second void here from the other two, just to give that extra space there. And, you know, change the numbers to relay five and uh, switch is gonna be five relay on, on five on, and you gotta make sure that you change your digital pin too, cause it's gonna be on D5, not D4 now. And that's the same thing for the off. You're just gonna change uh, the relay five to off. I mean, relay five off instead of relay four off. And the same thing, switch relay four, five off, not four. And you know, change your digital pin over here to digital pin five instead of four. And you do the same thing for six, seven, and eight. So that's that's um, completely understandable there. You know, I just broke down the very real basics and all the information that you possibly would need. After that, there's nothing else you have to do um, other than upload your sketch. And you know, you could verify it. You'll just go click in the corner here, click verify. That'll let you know if your sketch is um, wrong or if there's any miscoding involved that you have to go tweak and, and fix. This is basically the start point where it'll check your code to see if there's any errors. And if there is an error, it will detect it. And if there isn't, it will just say up uh, complementing or done complementing in the corner there like you've seen. And it'll tell you the size, which is uh, I'm, have, I'm using four, thousand four forty three thousand eight hundred and forty bytes for local versatile I guess I think wait oh no I'm sorry I used thirty eight thousand and eighty so three eight zero eight zero bytes so forty it says forty six percent of the storage on that board there so that's good I'm not even using half of the storage for eight relays which is great. And that's the amount, that's the max amount that um, I would need at the moment anyway. And then, so once uh, you get set up with, you know, you're complementing your sketch and everything, you can even do, uh, once you upload it, because after that you're gonna wanna upload it, obviously. So you'll click upload, it'll upload to your board, and um, It'll say, you know, done uploading. You'll see it run through its little course. You just gotta give it time for it to finish saying done uploading. And um, after that, what's gonna happen is you're gonna wanna tell the Amazon Echo to discover your devices. Now, this is the tricky part. You're gonna have to keep telling Alex, uh, you're gonna have to keep telling the Amazon Echo Dot, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to say her name, um, you're gonna have to keep telling the Amazon Echo Dot to discover your devices if you don't see her discovering all eight devices. Cause you have eight relays, so that's eight devices. So that's the problem that I kept coming into that I noticed was, you know, you'll, I'll go to uh, this, I'll go to serial monitor and see you're on um, bud rate 115 200 so you know uh, so you make sure it's clicked for selected for that and then you'll go to serial monitor monitor and it'll tell you um, it will display the information off of your microprocessor which is the 8266 or any board that you're using for Arduino board ca uh, capabilities basically and um, so when you say, uh, like how for instance, watch when I say, you know, to turn on a relay. Uh, Alexa, turn on relay one. And there you go, you see she, it responded. That's the code there set for your internet connection and turns on the relay for you. And then if I tell her to turn it off, Alexa, turn off relay one. And then you'll see the code there and it turned off the relay for you, so that was it. So when you tell her to discover your devices, you're gonna wanna have your serial monitor up so she can, you, so you could watch to make sure that she's connected and just trying to discover the all devices here. But once you do locate all eight devices, you do not have to rediscover them. 
soon as she knows that there is a and the name of those devices are relays you're done you can go back to the code as much as you want over here tweak whatever you want to tweak here as long as you're still wanting to, her to use eight relays after that it's completely finished you don't have to worry about um, having to tweak the code then re-upload it and then have her discover all over again you could tweak your code re-upload it to the microprocessor and then that's it there's no more having to discover anything so soon as you get all eight relays discovered through the Amazon Echo do not look again and try to have her discover them all over again you don't need to do that I just want to make that clear because I know that you know she'll discover maybe four devices at one time and then you know another six then maybe seven and then go back to six like I've seen it happen with me so you know you just have to keep telling her to discover the all devices there and soon she says I discovered eight smart home devices that's it you know, there's no more discovering anything you can tweak your code as much as you want add different stuff to it as long as you're using the relays you could set delays for the relay to turn on and turn off for a moment and uh, even um, set it to how long you want to have your relay to stay on before it shuts off you could set it for uh, regular seconds uh, nanoseconds microseconds whatever you want to call that it's like half a second a third of a second a you know second of like literally the smallest possible seconds you can even set for that so um, this is the end of my tutorial here I hope you guys liked it I know that I was uh, dragging on a little bit there but I'm trying to make these videos a lot shorter um, but yeah so if you want to have an 8 channel relay board that's how you go about it uh, the the link will be in the description for actually I probably will just go ahead and give you a link to where I got the first code at because I'm not gonna go into you know getting the my code and the files uploaded to you know whatever uh, internet web page what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and copy and paste this whole entire code here and then I will give you a link to where I got the original code for the just the four channel relays and then you could just copy and paste this code that I have I'm gonna copy and paste into the description so all you have to do is copy and paste it and then you can tweak the code however you see fit but it does work I have it working now and uh, I did mention how the pinouts are also on my previous videos so if you want to go check that out I recommend you doing so it's uh, how to control uh, vo uh, how to voice control a camera using you know the Amazon Echo what I said you know is her name not the Amazon Echo but you know the a word there anyway um, we, I do appreciate you guys and I will be giving doing giveaways still so you please guys keep subscribing keep looking out uh, I do a lot of 3d printing stuff and I'm gonna be doing giveaways for 3d prints and stuff like that so like um, I know that for sure so I may like you know I like all kind of different things whether it's um, anime uh, Rick and Morty I love Rick and Morty I know every, I know a lot of people out there love Rick and Morty I'm really gonna get into like 3d printing different Rick and Morty type figurines and characters and stuff like that so you guys just really stay tuned you'll see everything that I'm up to and you I guarantee you're gonna like this channel you guys just keep following me uh, double check to see what I come out with next this is legitly and I'll see you in the next one